You're probably wondering why I'm sitting here typing. Well, let me tell you. It's the only time I've been able to get some work done. I've been trying to start a new Amazon business, but of course, my life is a hot mess. You wanna know what's happened to me this week? Well, here you go. I don't know why, what possessed me, what demon possessed me to let my mother come and live with us. First of all, the woman faked a broken hip. They don't suspect a thing. If they found out my hip wasn't really broken and that I lied to them, Woo, girl, I'd be in so much trouble. Then she sold my father's house. My dead father's house. I don't have a home no more. I sold it. She sold her house? You sold daddy's house? Really, mama? And you're not gonna believe where she was last night. And on top of that, she's treating me like I'm still her 15 year old child living in her house. <sighs> it's a disaster. <laughs> Caught now. <laughs> Too much can in a cookie jar. <laughs> you know I can hear you talking about me over there. Oh, now you can hear. What do you mean? I have perfect hearing. Mama, you hear what you want to hear. Oh, you got some sass on you. You must have got that from your father's side of the family. Now, hush up now. Trying to watch my program. <laughs> Get him. Mama, please, I gotta get this work done. You know I'm trying to get my Amazon FBA business going. What's an Amazon FBA anyway? Sound like something you catch at the bottom of the boom boom room. I think your father came back with that two or three times. Mm -mm. Ew, Mama, what? No, Amazon FBA, like I'm trying to sell stuff on Amazon.com. You know, the biggest website in the world. Website? I don't know nothing about no website. You're telling me you've never done online shopping? Computers? Technology? I don't know nothing about that. I barely know how to use this telephone. Oh, I remember back in my day, all we needed was a raven and a piece of paper and quill pen. And we just sent them back and forth to each other. And that's how we stayed in communication. That's how people kept in touch. It was personal, not all this, you know, pushing a button type stuff. Mama, you were around when they were sending ravens around for notes? But you claim you don't know about technology, but why are you always on TikTok? Oh, TikTok? I love me some TikTok. Oh, that is my jam. Oh, they be, they be shaking and gyrating. And, and then they be all the little animals be so cute. Oh, I love it, girl. That is my favorite entertainment. Exactly. That's technology. That's an app on the phone. But yeah, that is the only app I use. That's like my, my program. You know, it, it, it's, it's like an entertainment for me. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, mom. I can't right now. I can't with you. I have too much to do. My house is a mess. Everything is a mess. You are a mess. I can't. Girl, ain't nobody tell you to do nothing. You're doing too much. Now hush up. Try and watch my program. Oh, look out. Oh, yeah. You know he is that father. Two thousand percent. You know when they say two thousand percent, it is for sure. Two thousand percent. Ah. So I look at Mari looking good these days. Mm -hmm. he, you know, he a little long in the tooth like me, but he he keeping it together. <laughs> Woo! Well, we gonna need to take some pointers. Oh, open the envelope, open it. Oh, he's scared now. The lie detector says. Did you get on my nerves? That's what it say. Girl, how many boyfriends you gonna have? Woo, these girls today. I think maybe you should go on over to Maury. Oh, oh, girl. Mm, you lucky I don't take you over my knee. I can't win with this woman. I cannot win with her. She's insane. <laughs> I heard that too. <laughs> oh, 
I love this commercial with the clapper. Mm hmm Yeah, that's what I need. I need a clapper. I need a clap, 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 clap. Yeah, and everything be, be working. I don't know how to use nothing. I'm not going to get any peace and quiet with this woman. So, I might as well give you a story time. It all started when Ellie came home from school. And yeah, she brought a little friend with her. So glad I took you home. That's one little guy. Are you hungry? All right, I'll get you a snack, but you have to be quiet. If my parents found out I had a pet mouse, they would send you away. Okay, Mr. Squeakers, stay watch you and nice and cozy. I'll get you some cheese and crackers. that we found each other. Oh, oh, wait, wait, I want to sing, but I thought we were going to do gymnastics first. All right, I guess we can do gymnastics first, then we can sing. Good idea. want to take gymnastics. Maybe we could take a class together. That would be so much fun. Good. Nobody's here. Ellie, baby, is that you? No, it's Daddy. Ellie, I know that's you, girl. Daddy, you touch food, your sweet mama. Come over and give me some sugar. Okay. Now give me some sugar. Now, I have someone I want to introduce you to. This is my sweet parrot named Crackers. Crackers, this is our grandbaby, Ellie. Ellie? Ellie? Whoa, I didn't know you got a parrot. Well, I have had him for about 25 years. But, um, you see, Grandma had a few troubles with the payday loans, so they, they took him as collateral. But I just paid him off since I sold my house. Ah, gave him my money. Ah. Oh, I wish he would stop saying that. He learned it from them payday people. Give me my money. Give me my money. I gave you your money. I don't need to hear that no more. Now tell me, how was school today? Oh, school, nothing at all. Just the teacher reading stories. Reading stories? What kind of learning is that? In my day, we had reading, writing, arithmetic. And sometimes we would do a little uh, crocheting and stuff for the home economics. So women can learn how to stay home and not work. Um, we don't do that at all. Women work now, Grandma. I know 
women work. It's just that, you know, <clears throat> y'all need to learn some of this old school. So y'all, please don't look like a pigsty no more. Uh, Grandma, it's been nice talking to you, but I have to do, um, uh, homework. Yeah, yeah, I have to do homework. <gasps> homework? All right, baby. I just wanted to spend a little time with you. Okay, gotta go. Ooh, crackers. Something ain't right with that girl. She must get it from her father's side of the family. Whew. I don't know. Oh, I'm going to figure it out, though. Ah, give me my money. Ah. Oh, you cuckoo bird. Oh. All right, your turn. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that fun. <laughs> I want to come over your house all the time, and then you can come over my house, too. <laughs> That's all what right. best friends do. I think it's done. Oh, okay. Okay, my turn to do yours. <laughs> oh, girl, I am going to do such a good job on this hair. You're not going to believe it. <laughs> all right, Naya, check out your hair. What? In the world. Keep calm. Keep calm. Don't you just love it? Oh, it's the latest trend. Mm -hmm. I love it, Maria. Who is slamming that door? I gotta hurry up. Uh, uh, no toilet paper? What is going on in this house? All right, I'll be right there. Hold on. All right, I'm coming. Uh, what, what, what's wrong? I think we have a mouse. I found mouse droppings in the sink. How do you know it's mouse droppings and not something your mother cooked? Boy, I know you ain't talking about my cooking. It's probably something to fill out them dirty drawers you be wearing. Dirty drawers. My drawers is probably something that fell out of that nasty bird. Crackers, don't you listen to him. He don't know what he's talking about. You the clean bird. He the one with the dirty drawers. Ah, dirty drawers. I'm the one in here that wash drawers, and all of y'all are nasty. But that's not the point. I'm talking about this mouse. We gotta call an exterminator. An exterminator? How much is that gonna cost? I don't know, a couple hundred dollars? Even if it's a thousand dollars. I am not living in a house where there's rodents running around. Exterminator? <laughs> Ooh, y'all are some fancy folks. <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me go pick up a couple of boys around the corner store. They'll come in here and find everything. They'll clean you out. Really? Mama, you want me to hire 
have some corner boys to come in here and find a mouse to clean it out, the only thing that's going to get cleaned out is everything but the mouse. Oh, excuse me. I guess you're too good for the corner boys. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. That cheap husband of yours. Whew. Oh, you know, I got an idea. I think you should let Crackers set him loose. He'll find that mouse and bite him up. That bird has half a brain. I'm not letting him run around my house. Then I'll have poop everywhere. Then I'll have mice poop and parrot poop. No, we need an exterminator. Fine, I'll hire an exterminator. Huh. Thank you. And where are your pants? Exterminator? I can find that mouse and she'll be thanking me later. So my cheap husband decided he was gonna play exterminator. The last time the man tried to do a DIY of something, the house ended up flooding and we had to call the fire department. I think I'll be really good at gymnastics. What do you think, Naya? down all the time. No worries. You want to take some Polaroids now? You know it! Come on! I put the timer on. Say cheese. Cheese! This is like the best day ever. We have to hang out like every single day. Totally. Oh, oh man. My grandma's on the way to get me. I just got a text message. Oh. That's okay. We can do the same thing every day. And now for the real tea. This is the part that sent me over the edge. <sighs> Naya's new friend, her new BFF, which I'm so happy she has a new friend because with these times going on, she hasn't been able to hang out with anyone, but I digress. Well, her grandmother came over to pick her up. And that was a big mistake. Naya, Maria's grandmother just pulled up. Come on down. Hi, Grandma. This is my friend Naya. Well, hello, Naya. It's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, you want to meet my grandma? She lives with us now. I would love to meet her. Oh, what a lovely home you have here. Whoa. I bet her grandmothers would be best friends like us. Totally. Sweet mama, come meet my friend Maria's grandmother. All right, baby. Hold on. Let me finish up this FaceTime with Rodrigo. Now listen, I gotta go now. But I better not catch you up in that nursing home playing no more bingo. Or it's no more buffet. Baby, if you ever catch a man playing scramble at the nursing home, you can cut him loose. He ain't up to no good. Now, what is it you want from me? Who, who am I supposed to meet? Hm. Um, Grandma, this is my best friend Maria's grandmother. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get your name. <gasps> Curdy Perkins. Maybelline Jenkins. What are you doing in my house? I'm here for my grandbaby. Your grandbaby? Yes, Maria is my grandbaby. You guys know each other? Yes, I know this woman. She's a thief. A man thief. I ain't the thief. You the thief. This woman is my mortal enemy. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You guys do not want to know what happened after that. Okay, well, actually you probably do, but you're gonna have to wait till part two because it is way too much hot mess to put in one video. So make sure you guys are subscribed and check out the other videos and hopefully me and mama- Girl, hush up. I can't hear. Bye y'all. And when mama saw Gertie Perkins, whoo, you don't want to know what this woman did. Actually, I'm gonna tell you what she did. i tell you what I did. I took the trash out. Mama, Gertie is not trash. How could you kick that woman out our house? I didn't kick her out. I threw her out. And I better not see you coming back around these parts again or I'm gonna get my crew on it. Get that crew. Ah. What is 
the difference? One uses my foot, and the other one uses my fist. Really? Ah, uh, technically there is a difference. Uh, I've been kicked out of here lots of times, so I should know. Tommy, what are you doing over here? Uh, and why are you eating my food? Oh, um, they're a little stale. I, I think you need to go shopping. Boy, don't they have food at your house? Yes, but it tastes so much better here, Mrs. C. Tommy, you need to go home. Her and Uncle Billy decided to take a cruise again. <laughs> and, and they didn't take me. You're staying all by yourself? Who's supposed to be watching you? You? By the way, um, do you mind if I stay here for a couple of days? You know what, Tommy? I can't with you right now. Okay. Mama, you need to go talk to Naya. She was so upset. Well, well, listen, I didn't mean to hurt the baby's feelings. But that girl at Perkins comes straight from the pit of hell. Really? That sweet old lady? Mama, you are being so dramatic. Dramatic? Me? Dramatic? Oh, Lord, I can't believe. Oh, what did I do to deserve a child to treat me like this? Oh, Lord. Oh, oh, I can't believe this. Oh, somebody call the pastor and the funeral director. Pastor? I ain't gonna go today, Lord. Oh, oh, just take me now. Take me, Lord. I have, huh? have babies that just treat their mama so bad. Oh, Can I have Lord. sweet mama's room if she dies? Quit with the dramatics, Mama. You are not going to weasel your way out of this. Oh, let the suffering in, Lord. Oh, oh. <coughs> Weasel my way? I would never. Okay, fine. I will go talk to the baby. And let her know I don't have no problem with her friend Maria. Maria is a sweet little girl. But her grandmammy? Oh, no. That snake in the grass? She cannot ever step foot in here again. I don't even want to hear her name. But, Mommy, don't you realize that if you have a problem with her grandmother, that's, like, going to put, you know, pressure on them? And kids shouldn't have that kind of pressure. They should just enjoy themselves and just be free. That's the problem with these kids today, going all soft. Hmm. Huh. When I was growing up, I ain't ain't no trophy and a, and a hand holding and a hug. I had to pull myself up by my bootstraps. My daddy worked in the gin mill during the day, and he bootstrapped at night. Bootleg? Ah. Mama cleaned Mister's house every day for pennies. And when daddy came home, he had a little bit of the hooch on him. And I fixed my father his meal, I rubbed his feet, and when Mama came home, I made sure all the children had everything they needed and they was ready. So my parents didn't have to worry about nothing. You think anybody was holding my hand? You think anybody was giving me a hug? Ain't nobody hugged me. And the neighbor's boy don't count. What does that have to do with anything? Mama, go now. All right, all right. I'm going. Stop forcing. Oh, that woman. Uh, got any juice? Now that's a kick out. Feel the difference? Oh, must be her special time of the month. I'll come back later. I still love you, Mrs. C. Baby? Can I talk to you for a minute? What is it, sweet mama? Now, you know, last night, your sweet mama lost her temper a bit. Um, and I had to throw out that Jezebel of a woman. You see, when there's a Jezebel in your presence, you got to slay it down. Um, okay. Like the evil that it is. But, you know, baby, I, I don't have no problem with your friend Maria. I know she's your little best friend and everything. I don't want you feeling bad just because her grandmother is a hussy. 
But Grandma, I really like Maria, and I was hoping you would get along with her grandma. Baby, I know, but that woman, if you can call her that, she has done me wrong, and I just can't let it go. What happened between you two? Ooh, child, I think your ears may be too tender for what I got to say. Come on, Grandma, tell me. Mommy and Daddy never tell me good stories. Please. Whew. Well, the night was dark and full of shadows. Winter was coming. Oh, it was a good year. What was it, like 1901, 1920? What? Girl, how old you think your sweet mama is? I'm a youngin'. Hmm. Huh. They don't call me sweet for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sugar don't rot. Me and Gertie Perkins was best friends. I mean the best of friends, just like you and Maria. Nothing could pull us apart. We did everything together. Oh, Gertie, I love you, girl. We're going to be best friends forever. Oh, Maybelline, I totally agree. Nothing could tear us apart. Then one day, a new boy came to town, and let me tell you, girl, out. Oh, he was fine. I mean, finer than wine. You ain't seen nothing like that before. That I mean, nice. he was a tall drink of water. I mean, the finest drink this side of the Mississippi. I mean, woo! I just wanted to. I, oh, yeah. So, uh, uh, let me keep this uh, family. So, uh. Please. Well, he was gorgeous. And see, me and Gertie saw him at the same time. Oh. <sighs> He's mine. Well, technically, I feel like I saw him better because she was looking down at that raggedy uh, shoes she used to always wear, trying to wipe the dust off. You know, she was a little raggedy. Yeah, kind of like she is now. And when I saw him, our eyes met. I mean, we locked in like this. It was like this. Hey, ladies. How y'all doing today? Can one of y'all show me where I can get a soda pop? Where the soda pop is? No, I can show him where the soda pop is. Oh, good. Oh, oh, is that your mama right there? She calling you, girl. Oh, she got a switch in her hand. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Oh, here I come, baby. Let's go. It was like this. I mean, we was in each other's face. It was love, baby. I'm telling you, love. Oh, I just knew he would be the one for me. That will be me. Come on, let's go get us a soda pop. Uh oh, is your friend okay? Oh, uh, uh, her? Oh, oh, don't worry about that. That's just her constipation acting up again. You know, you know it throws her into fits. Come on, let's go get this soda pop. All right, sugar mama. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, no one's ever called me that before. Oh, I love it. Come on, let's go, boy. Hurry up, hurry up before she get up. Let's go. Skeeter Brown. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Wait, huh. this was Granddaddy. Yes, it was. So you know the conclusion. I won, and Gertie lost. She tried her best to woo him away from me. When she knew it was going to be me and him, she couldn't stand it. Because I always got the good ones. She had to get the scraps. Oh, 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 oh. where'd they go? Oh, that Maybelline Jenkins. Oh, I'm gonna get her back. That's my man. One night, when me and Skeeter was going to the annual barn dance. Oh, baby. <laughs> Give me that jig. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh. ooh, we used to turn it up, girl. We had been practicing for weeks. And on the last practice, I slipped. Oh, we're gonna win, Skeeter. We're gonna win that $20. <laughs> I know, baby. We got it in her bag. Oh, yeah. Oh, Skeeter. Oh, wait. I'm going to do a twirl. Woo! Ah, 
Oh, sugar mama, you all right, baby? And sprained my ankle, so I couldn't do the dance. Oh, oh, oh Skeeter. Oh, I, I think I, I heard something, something broke. Oh, oh, you gonna have to take me to the doctor. And uh, I feel terrible because, you know, Skeeter and I had practiced so much and I didn't want to let him down. And you know, plus the prize money was so big. Oh, like $10,000 or something? $10,000? What you think, this publisher's clearinghouse? You think we won a lottery or something, sis? Girl, no. We was going to win $20. And we could have used that $20. You know, $20 back in the day, you could put a down payment on a house for $20. Huh. Not like today. Whoo. You got to be, you got to be daddy Warbucks. I mean, you got to be rich and rich for anything now. I don't understand why they always are trying to charge so much interest. Oh, let me stay on target. Okay. So, we need that $20 because we wanted to start our life together. Well, technically, Skeeter didn't know about that, but, you know, that was what I was plotting. You know, you always got to be plotting on these men. <laughs> And then, lo and behold, here come old Gertie talking about, Oh, Skeeza, if you can't dance with her, uh, um, I'll take her place. <clears throat> oh, since uh, Maybelline sprained her ankle, Skeeta, I'd be willing to dance with you. Oh, I can dig it, Gertie. Um, what you say there, sweet mama? Can I dance with Gertie? Yeah, old floozy. That's what she is. She's a horsey and a floozy at the same time. You know how difficult that is? And I'm telling you, you think she ugly now. Oh, Lord, you should have seen her back then. Oh, it was terrible. Oh, God. I mean, it was like the stuff that nightmares is made of. Mm, I mean, sorry. the woman looked like a creature that came from the deepest, darkest part of the lagoon. And so, before I could object, Skeeter said yes. Come on, sweet thing, let's go. <laughs> Let me show you what dancing really is, baby. I couldn't believe it. This woman was stealing my man right in front of my face. Just like this. She was in my face, stealing him, thinking I wasn't going to say nothing, thinking I was going to be sweet and quiet, and I was blessing his tender. No, I wasn't. Being the mild manner, sweet lady that I am, I kept it classy, and I said, Okay, that's fine, Skeeter. I'll be waiting for you, baby. Hmm. Next thing I know, she go out there and stole my moves. She was out there doing the oochie coochie and all kinds of things. But you oh, my man. That. Baby, stop talking. I'm trying to tell a story here. Then she talking about, Skeeter, can you walk me home? Oh, Skeeter, can you believe it? We won. I know. Oh, I got that twenty dollars. What you gonna do with it, baby? I don't know. I was thinking of hitting a, a casino. What you don't? What you no, I'm telling a story here. This is your history. This is why you need to know. You can watch out for these these lurking shadows. These people who who gonna steal your man. Okay. You, can, you got a boyfriend, baby? I won't tell your mama. Oh. Finally, at the end of the dance, I couldn't find him nowhere. So I went out back. I had a feeling, a deep feeling. Ooh, <laughs> I can dig it. Now, what is it you want to talk to me about? Well, you know, I think we dance real good together, don't you? Yeah, we dance real good, Curdy. <laughs> I had lots of fun. Oh, you did? <laughs> Me too. You know, I um, I don't think you're going to be able to dance with Maybelline no more. But why? Well, I heard she may have to have her leg amputated. Amputated? They going to cut it off? What? I thought the doctor said it was just a little sprain. Oh, no. I think she's going to lose the whole thing. So, I, I'm thinking, you and I should partner up so we can keep winning these contests. Mm, I don't know. Sweet mama's going to be awfully mad. Oh, she get over it. I know her very well. I'm her best friend. 
I think it should just be you and me. Oh. Oh. Well, maybe. Oh. Oh. I got to think it over. And I go out there. And what do I see? But her lips is about to kiss my skeeter. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, you know what? I think we was made for each other. You do? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. I just, I just, I could not believe it. And you know what happened next, don't you? What? I beat the brakes off that girl. Girl, you David woman. <gasps> I mean, I took her to town. <laughs> Legend is, she's still recovering. Yeah, caught. What you doing out here with my man? Your man? He's my man now. No, he is not. I don't know what you're talking about. I just got a little spring. We is going to be dancing every day now. I don't care what happened to this leg of mine. Oh, you are a crazy woman. I saw him first, and you stole him from me. No, I didn't. He saw me, and that's who he wanted. I can't help it. I look so good. Oh, you don't look good. You're the thief. Say it again. And yours is fighting words. You is a thief. Sweet mama, you were fighting? No, baby. I was fighting. She was just she was just laying down trying to trying to get help. I was like, don't you be talking to my man? Oh God, help me, help me, girl! Ain't nobody gonna come help you. You better help yourself. But you know, you know, it was out of my character. You know, I'm a gentle woman. You know, I'm a lady, and you don't ever. It, it, you know, your sweet mama is graceful. And she took me out of myself. And I promised myself from that day forth, I would be the sweetest woman that ever lived. And I, 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 and your sweet mama sweet. That's why I get the nickname. I'm so gentle. I say all that because you need to know why I'm not friends with her. Now, of course, in the end, I got my man. But when a friend deceives you like that, you got to take it seriously. You don't let them come back in your life again after they try to do some stuff like that. Uh-uh. <clears throat> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, I'm going to beat the brakes off you. <laughs> All right? Now, you can be friends with your, your little girlfriend, Maria. And um, I promise I, I, I won't mention our old nasty grandmammy again. Okay, baby? You understand now. I guess, Grandma, but I still don't like it. Well, that's good. That's maturity. You're not supposed to like everything in this world. Sometimes you got to make the hard decisions and make them for other people and not just yourself. Give, give sweet mommy some sugar. Now, I, I'll be back. I got to change these drawers. I didn't, you know, I had a little leak because I got a little too excited. <laughs> Oh, I can take a nap too. So of course, Mama has held a grudge all these years because she says that Gertie Perkins tried to take Skeeter, my father, away from her. I don't know. I wish these ladies would just let it go. I mean, this was decades ago. But of course, is Mama gonna let it go? No. Now, you're gonna have to stay tuned for part three to see how this all came to a head. It is insane what these women ended up doing. Oh, why are you always telling my business? Telling your business? Someone needs to tell your business. You were out of control. I am not out of control for your information. Anyway, guys, make sure you subscribe and check out part one and check out part three, which will be out tomorrow. And we will see you guys on the next one. Yeah, I got any broom juice in here. And now, the conclusion to this uh, drama, granny drama. It all started when Naya suggested that we go to the park and that sweet mama goes. Hmm. 
I'm gonna get this mouse. that mouse I told you we need to call an exterminator you know how much money I'm saving I don't care about how much money you're saving you're gonna tear the house up looking for this thing and the professionals will come in and they will know exactly where mice usually hide and get them oh uh, come on baby I almost got them that time don't worry about nothing I got this all under control this is what you call under control what do you have on a mask and ski goggles how is that going to help find a mouse? And you're trying to swat him with a fly swatter. You know what? I got to go finish this stuff for this business that I'm trying to get off the ground while the rest of y'all are up to no good. Just. Hmm. Down there. Huh? Oh, is you looking up my dress? Oh, Lord. Woman, ain't nobody looking up your dress. I'm trying to catch a mouse. Uh huh. That's what Skitty used to call it catching mouse. You ought to be ashamed of yourself looking up my old lady's dress. Catching mouse? Ah! I don't have time for this. I gotta catch that mouse before my wife calls the exterminator. Sweet mama, don't move a muscle. What you mean don't move a muscle? What are you talking about? What? <laughs> Why are you all up in my face? Huh? Ah, uh, yeah. Trying to kill my but see, I'm so sorry, sweet mama. Are you okay? Ready for this business call? Oh, I hope they I hope they like my proposal. Okay, get this business started. <gasps> what is that? What in the world is going on? Sweet mama, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Sweet mama, I, I didn't What's going on? Your husband laid hands on me. He didn't try to look up my dress. Oh! What? You hit mama? No, I didn't hit her. I was trying to catch the mouse and it was on her head and I... I can't believe it. Oh, in all my years, I never met a man. Oh, like this. Mama, are you okay? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I think I'm having one of my spells. Now, Mama, I don't think he meant to hit you on purpose. He's looking for this mouse that's around the house, remember? Oh, this is too much for me to bear. I'm an old woman with a broken hip. You really about to start with that broken hip stuff again. Honey, I promise you, I would never do that to your mother. I didn't mean to do it. Uh, honey, I know you didn't. You're not that kind of man. But this wouldn't have been an issue if you had called the exterminator. Mm-hmm. Or the corner boys. All right, you win. I'm calling the exterminator now. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. But that man, mm-mm-mm. Mama, don't be saying mm-mm-mm to him. Did you talk to Naya yet? Why, yes, I did. And the baby understands that me and Gertie Perkins will be enemies for the rest of our days. 
But I told her I don't have a problem with her friend Maria. That's a sweet baby. Mama, you need to make up with her. I'm telling you, it's going to affect Naya's friendship. It's not fair to do that to a child. All this fairness talk again. Goodness grief. Everything ain't fair in life. The baby needs to learn sometimes you have to do hard things. Sometimes, you know, you have to do things you don't want to do. And sometimes you have to be understanding of your family. That sounds like everything you need to be doing right now, not her. You sure got a lot to say. I've been reading them self-help books again. <sighs> you need to be reading some self-help books. Yes, you. Now, Mama, you are going to have to learn how to let things go. You hold on to grudges Mommy, way too long. Can I go to the park with Sweet Mama? Well, uh, that's up to Sweet Mama. Mama, you want to go? Take my baby to the park? Of course. Can I didn't get out this house in this lecture? <laughs> yes, okay, I'll go get my shoes on. Mm -hmm. Now, you sure you up to it? It's going to be hot. I'm going to be fine. <sighs> You know, it's a hot girl summer. Well, that was last year, but, you know, it's still a hot girl summer for me. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go with y'all just to make sure everything's okay. Remember last time you had that heat spell? We had to get the smelling salts. Just because I didn't take my blood pressure medication. Matter of fact, where is that bottle? Squeakles, where are you? And cheese, squeakles. You know what? I'm going to take Ellie, too. Ellie! <gasps> Ellie! Just, what you doing back there? Um, just, um, looking for this? You looking for Marley's scarf? Mama and I are taking Naya to the park. You want to go? No, I'll just stay home. But you love the park. Why don't you want to go? What's going on? I think I got like, you know, a little fever and stuff. So yeah, yeah. So do you want me to call the doctor or you want me to give you some medicine? Uh, no, I'll be fine. Just don't worry about me. Okay. I got to figure out what is going on with my child. She is acting so weird. Oof, that was close. I have to find speakers before daddy does. All right, let me go escort this crazy woman to the park. Naya, you be careful. I don't know what's out here. Oh, look at girl Neil. Oh, this is living a life. Mama, I didn't say she couldn't live. I just wanted her to be careful. You know, we do live in Florida. There's all kinds of creatures in this grass. Mm -mm -mm. I just love this place. You know, when I was young, this is what we did. We just played outside all day. We didn't have no video games, and I ain't even had no good TV or nothing. But sometimes I would listen to my radio program. You hear me, girl? Uh, uh-huh, sweet mama, sure thing. Where are they? They should have been here by now. Oh, when you told me you wanted to go to the park, I wasn't sure, but this, this is real beautiful. Thank you, baby, for, for bringing me here. Oh, yeah, you know. I, I, I thought you could use the fresh air. <laughs> yeah, just a normal day. <laughs> now, baby, what's going on with you? You're looking all around. Oh, um, I, I was just looking to see if there's any other kids here I can play with. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, I don't see anybody. Wait, I see somebody over there. She looks like a little girl. Baby, what is going on with that dog of yours? I, I think she's a little soft in the mind. Mama, that dog is not soft. She's one of the smartest breeds in the world. She's just a puppy. A puppy? Good grief. She big as a house. What you feeding her? <sighs> just enjoy the nice weather. Excuse me, uh, but we noticed that you have a little girl over there playing. Would you mind if my grandbaby plays with her? <gasps> Maybelline Jenkins? <gasps> Dirty Perkins! 
What are you doing here? What are you doing in my park? Your park? This is my park. I was here first. My grandbaby Maria invited me here. Well, my grandbaby is here too. I don't understand. Are you stalking me? Mama, really? She's not stalking you. It could be just a coincidence. A coincidence? I don't think so. Nothing this woman do is a coincidence. She is calculating. A true Jezebel. Oh, you two don't fight. Please. Naya and I plant this. Yeah. What do you mean you two plant this? Well, we thought that we can get you two to a nice area and you can work out your problems. Yeah. Like adults are supposed to. Mm-hmm. Woo. Listen, babies. Y'all go on over there and play. Because you ain't going to want to be witness to what's about to go down. What you gonna do? Yeah, Maria, Naya, just go over there and play so I can just get these two together. What you wanna do? What you wanna do? You know how I get down. And you know how I get down. You Mama, now you stop it. You are doing too much. And Miss Gertie, you are too. Y'all, somebody called the law. What did you ladies doing? What in the world? What it look like they doing? They fighting. Well, ain't you going to try to stop them? You know what? I did. Why don't you give it a try? Oh, all right. <laughs> Just two old ladies. What can be the harm? <laughs> stop it, ladies. <laughs> Get them, Gertie. I got them, Maybelline. Boy, don't be involved with yourself in grown woman business. I'm the law. You think we care about some law? Oh, oh. Cletus? Is, what is you doing here, baby? Well, I got a call about a, you know, a disturbance of two old ladies at the park. <clears throat> Had to drop that coffee and donuts and get on down here. Boy, who you calling old? Now? Me and Maybelline is working something out. Now get out of here. Now, Mama, I'm going to have to take you in. You got to take me in. You good for nothing. I'm sorry, Mama. If I don't take you in, I can get in trouble and lose my job. You, you still going to let me come over for Sunday supper? <laughs> yes, yeah. Take her in, officer. Ooh, what kind of child you raised? <laughs> he take you into the big house. Ooh, I raised mine right. You know what, officer? You can take her with you, too. Oh, you good for nothing. I'm your mama. No, mama, I'm sick of this. Naya, Maria, let's go. Maria, I'll drop you off home, baby. Oof. Oh, I got you. Ooh, your butt is mine. Stay back. This road probably has all kinds of diseases. Daddy, no, you can't do that! Huh? What are you talking about, girl? That's my pet squeakers. Your pet squeakers? When did you get a mouse? It was in science class. We were going to do experiments on him and I saved him. You took this mouse from school? Yeah, I did. Come here, Mrs. Squeakles. I love him. He's so sweet and soft. He's been running around the house for days. I know. He was hungry. He wasn't trying to cause any trouble. But honey, you can have a mouse as a pet. Yes, I can. Lots of people can have mice for pets. Oh, y'all are not going to believe what just happened to my mother at the park. <sighs> what? What's that we doing with the mouse? That's the mouse I've been looking for. She brought it home from school. You brought that mouse home from school? He's my new pet. I rescued him from school. Baby, we can't keep a mouse. That's no kind of pet. Actually, Mom, technically lots of people have mice for pets. It's kind of common. Mm-hmm. 
I don't have time for this. This was, I gotta deal with my mother. Listen, baby, if you wanna keep the mouse, listen, you're gonna have to learn how to take care of him. He needs a cage because I am not having mice run around my house, okay? Yay, thank you, mommy. Wait, don't I get a say in this? Honey, we have bigger fish to fry. Let me tell you about mama at the park. Since I'm getting pets, can I get a guinea pig? So what happened with your mother today? Oh my gosh. Well, Naya decided, her and her friend, Maria, and you know Gertie yeah. is Maria's grandmother. Well, anyway, they plotted so that they both ended up at the playground at the same time to bring the grandmothers together so that they can work out their differences. You can guess how that went. They got into it. They ended up scrapping. Someone called the law and now mama got taken to the big house. You gotta be kidding me. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Well, can't you just keep her there for a couple of days? Really? <sighs> now you two ladies are in big trouble. Oh. oh, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. There are two old ladies in a big house. You ain't never lie, girl. Boy, if I had half a mind, I'd put you over my knee. Oh, you didn't hurt me. I just slipped. <laughs> we put a whooping on you. Go home and tell your mama. <laughs> you little snot nosed rat. Oh, you old two bats. Oh. Gertie, we tore him up, did we? We sure did, Maybelline. It, I haven't had this much fun in 20 years. Me too. Oh, it was like old times. Remember when we used to do the bootlegging? <laughs> and we, you do a little flirting, and I sneak in the back, and we take all the shine? <laughs> oh, sir, I'm here to see my mother, M Maybelline Jenkins. Oh, I remember you from the park. <laughs> yes, I'm very sorry about that. I, I, it's very hard controlling her. That mother of yours need to be committed. They over there. Maybelline Jenkins, your daughter is here. I'm gonna go put some ice on this wound. Oh, I know my baby will come get me. Baby! Come on, get your mama out. I can't believe the two of y'all did this at the park and in front of the kids. Oh, baby, that was nothing but a little dust up. We all right, ain't we? Ain't we dirty? Yeah, we all right. Mama, I'm sick of this. And you know what? Poppy and I think you should stay in here and learn a lesson. You're doing too much, mama. Oh, what kind of girl I raise? Ooh, you better not leave me in here. You know what? You're gonna stay in here, both of you, until you make up. <gasps> oh, I can't believe that girl. She gonna leave her mama in the big house. You know what? My daughter said the same thing. She said she was sick of all my stuff and that this was the last straw and that I needed a lesson. Can you believe them? I know these girls are so ungrateful. Oh, how do we raise such ingrates? I don't know. She can she get you from her mother's side of the family. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been meaning to talk to you. You know, I was wrong for what I did all them years ago. I know we both saw Skeeter at the same time and I I said your mama was there and had a switch and everything. I, that was a lie. Oh, I can't believe you finally admitted it, Maybelline. I don't have a problem with you being with Skeeter. You're the one he chose. My problem is that you put that relationship above our friendship. Now you, you started sabotaging me and you didn't need to do that. I would have just let it go if you had just talked to me. You would? Yes, Maybelline. You know you my homegirl. We go way back. I would never stand between you and your love. Oh, Gertie. Oh, I'm so ashamed. But you did try to kiss Gita that night. Yeah, I did. I tried it. <laughs> He was so handsome, I know, girl. <laughs> oh, 
you know, I think we need to call a truce. You know, I agree with you. For what? <laughs> we only got but so much time left on this earth. Oh, we ought to spend it together. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh, I missed you, Gertie. <laughs> oh, we got to make up for lost time. And now our grandbabies are best friends. What are the odds? I know, it's like divine intervention. <laughs> so what do you want to do now? We're going to be stuck in here. Mm. Let me see if your boy got some cards or something we can play. <laughs> we can turn on the last time. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably still licking his wounds. I know he's so soft. Uh -uh. Sir, come on over here, boy. Help some old ladies. So, my mother ended up in the big house for scrapping with Gertie, but in the end, they did make up. Oh, also, we have a mouse living here full time, as you know. Oh, I don't know when this drama's gonna ever end. My mother, she's just, she's just. I'm just what? Are you listening in on me again? I can't help but hear it. You're so loud. And you're always talking about something. Girl, don't you ever hush up? Ooh. Well, what do you expect? You're always doing something. Ooh. Oh, well, I just close my ears. Huh. Anyway, make sure you subscribe and check out parts one and two if you have it and the other videos to come because I know mama's going to be acting up for sure. Oh, 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 baby, get that $20 for your mama. I need to go buy some scratch cards. <laughs>